a cross-border financial crime is here to stay. While people everywhere enjoy the convenience of a globally connected financial system, criminals exploit this intricate network to move illicit funds across borders and evade capture. As these criminals protect their ill-gotten wealth derived from tax evasion, corruption and drug trafficking, among others, financial crimes thrive. Now, no financial institution or country is immune. Money laundering scandals cause bank collapses and shocked countries. Now, ultimately, society pays the cost through an erosion of trust in the integrity of the financial system, often leading taxpayers to subsidize failing banks and limiting customer access to credit. On the show today, we will focus on how money laundering poses a risk to financial sector stability. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadoni. All right, welcome back as we begin uh, to talk about that. Uh, we will look at um, some other pertinent issues before uh, we look at uh, what's going on in cross-border crimes. Now, beyond attracting investment for just monetary gains, Africa needs investment that would yield tangible results. This is the key thrust at the Africa Social Impact Summit aimed at bringing investment on the continent towards a sustainable future. Details in this report. <laughs> Halfway down the line, Africa is making slow progress on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals SDGs compared to other regions and is regressing on some development indicators. It is on this note that leaders from various sectors have converged on this hall and virtually to address the continent's challenges and create innovative solutions. With Nigeria presently standing at 146th position in the SDG Index ranking, the co-conveners of this year's Africa Social Impact Summit speak about the essence for new partnerships and networks. Because it is clear that silo execution can only take us so far. It is the power, the power of leveraging innovation. Innovation can cause the work being done, existing work being done, to scale up quickly leveraging digitization and that is why we also have a deal room here we're organizations that have innovative solutions across the critical sectors health education climate action food security can access funding to be able to scale the work they're doing but with the right policy environment a conducive environment for producers and consumers with investors who are here at this africa social uh, impact summit who are willing to invest into small scale and medium scale business and help them scale up so that food gets produced and clothes get manufactured. Speaker after speaker are united on how the private, public and indeed the social impact sectors can collaborate to invest in the sustainability of the yes and the development goals. Therefore, the private sector with its scale and sustainability and innovation must take a lead in driving this change. We must harness the strength of our multi-stakeholder partners and leverage enterprise-driven innovation the Africa Social Impact Summit is designed to eliminate the friction, the competition, the lack of collaboration. It is designed to ensure that the most efficient way to apply resources to solving social problems is through the gathering that we have here. As various aspects of the 17 SDGs take center stage, questions are answered on gender equality, qualitative education and Africa's race against time. The, the number of indicators within SDC4 would have been able to make some appreciable advancement in early childcare development. To be honest, we are still a very dependent nation on donations and you know importation from you know from other countries. And you will find out that the SDGs is structured around leaving no one behind. That's the thing. And the very fabric of the SDGs is 
homegrown solutions. We need um, an, an enabling environment which includes having policies and laws in place and all that. Of course, you know that the issues that have been disturbing us has always been the, the leadership and the governance structure that is making it look as if women are not relevant. This year's summit themed global vision, local action, features engaging discussions focused on different sectors, all aimed at driving positive change across Africa. Justin Akadonye, Plus TV News, Lagos.